again. We're back. We're back. Yay! Live from Autumn Creek, it is Sunday night. Yes! And we are back. We are back, finally. The All right, we can end the video now. We're back. Yeah, the, 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 the jailbird has been given his get out of yes. jail free card. I promise, Facebook, I'll never talk about steak sauce again. Never. Yeah, I, 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 Goodness. I, I guess they have stock in A1. I don't know. <laughs> they, I, I have an idea, but... Do you need A1 sauce on steak? If you need, if a, you need a, a1, a1 steak sauce, sauce, if you need A1 steak sauce, then you don't need to be That's cooking That's right. Steak. You don't need to be cooking steak. I agree. Absolutely. Uh, That's Mr. Billy Vidler. That's Mr. Pete O'Hare. And we are... Two, two guys, guys who don't know anything. And folks... It's great are, to be back with y'all. It is good to be back at Awana. So I'm so glad to... And I'm so glad because we have we have a, I have a pretty good lesson for tonight. Looking forward to, uh, to, to showing you... Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we got stuff going on all over the place. Oh man! I'm gonna read that warning next time it comes up. You should. Yes, because yeah. I don't know what it means. And it's a and and, and it's like it's annoying. It, it is. If you come, it pops up, and then all of a sudden, it, we, we we can't see ourselves. Yes. I, 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 which actually, it's not such a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Yes. Look, you know, I'm a know, test I pattern. Think, yeah, I think the last. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, anyway, last time, there it is. You can oh, there it is. Now. Key frame rate too low. Current key frame rate is too low. Recommended key frame rate are in the range of uh, one every two to four. S two to four. S two to four. S two to four. S period. I, have no I don't know. I don't know what it is. It is so, a X. Thing, guys. I'm sorry. We're going to X out. We're don't really worry. Sure. We're, we're live. We're still we're good. good. We're, we're happy, happy to be here. We are happy to Look, be here. Look, I'm sweating. I'm so happy. Yeah, last time. You know, the last time that I was uh, that we that we were live, I didn't have. That. You didn't have that. No, I, you didn't have. I, still, I, 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 I don't still know if I had this or not. I don't remember. I, I still don't have much of this. Well, yes, exactly. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm proud of Mr. Pete because he's worked a year on that. I have. <laughs> I sneezed and this happened. <laughs> Wait, should we do it again? I think we should do Test it. Test pattern. <laughs> okay, here we go. So today's lesson. Today's lesson is about is about being a follower, being You're a good follow, being follower. a good follower. We we talked now the now the, the last several uh, weeks we talked about uh, what when we were together the ten amendments. <laughs> Let's try that again. The ten suggestions. Come on, guys. Oh, commandments! And oh, commandments! Oh, somebody Woo, said it right I'm glad somebody got it. I'll tell you what, that was. And but but the thing is, is that you know, commandments are only as good as the as good if they are being followed. Right. Commandments only do anyone any good if they are being followed. Right. right. I can give you, I, I can give you a command all day long, but if you sit in your chair, does it do you any good? Yeah. No. Right not. Yes, it yes. Yes. No. It, it, it gives you something to ignore. Yes. Yeah, it gives okay. you something yes. to ignore. Yet, yet another thing. To yes, do it. Yes, exactly. exactly. But, but the thing is, we're going to talk a little bit about the role of, uh, of being a follower. And there, there's, a, there's kind of a churchy word to this that I wanted to uh, share with you all. It's called discipleship. Being a disciple uh, means being a follower. We're going to, uh, and right. being a disciple of Jesus Christ um, is truly a lesson for uh, not just kids, but but for, for any parents who may be out there watching this, I need you to pay attention too, because this is not just a, a lesson for the kids. Um, you know, so many uh, verses that Paul writes in, you know, in his instructions have not just instructions for, for kids, mm -hmm. but followed up. Uh, by instructions for uh, for parents. Oh yeah. Um, he has instructions that per that pertain to uh, to uh, women and uh, and but followed up by instructions for uh, the men. Right. Uh, it's um, you know one of, one of the more famous being uh, you know women be in, be in submission to your husbands. You know wives be in submission to your husbands. But followed up by husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. So, you know, so our, you know, what is God's command to us as as men, as husbands? 
We are supposed to lay our lives our lives yes, for, for our wives. wives. For our wives. Yes. You know, that's the standard. That's the command. You get that, husband? The thing <laughs> is, but the thing is, folks, uh, you know, pertaining to you, though, guys, uh, it really is a teamwork um, issue when it comes to following Jesus Christ. It is. Um, you know, it seems like we're, you know, you know, life can be really hectic. You know, it, it seems like we're either, you know, running from one thing to another. You know, you know, kids, uh, you guys have school, right? Raise your hand if you, if, raise your hand if you go to school. Raise your hand if you go to school. Don't Thank you very hand. much. You know, uh, raise your hands if you play sports um, or maybe play in a band. Um, you know, I mean, let's face it, church stuff too. You know, you guys are all here doing church stuff. And we appreciate you being here, but my goodness, it's, it's another thing that, that is on our list, on our busy, busy to-do list. You know, uh, parents have work, um, and then, you know, they're chauffeuring the kids around. You know, not to mention, you know, keeping up with, you know, the dishes, the laundry, um, you know, the dust, yada, 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 all these things. You know, yeah, how can we possibly add, uh, you know, how can we cram just one more thing in, like discipleship? How can we cram following into an already busy schedule? Um, you know, thankfully, discipleship is not really another thing to do, but rather a way to live while you have all these other things going on. Let me say that again because it's important. Discipleship is not really another thing to do, but rather a way to live while you have all these other things going on. Yeah, let's touch a little bit on just what a disciple is. Uh, check out the, what the Great Commission is in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. You see, Jesus commands his followers to go and make disciples. That is, followers of all nations. That's our job, guys. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to go out there and spread the good news. Tell people, Jesus died for your sins. And because he was raised on the third day, you can spend eternity with God. Mm -hmm. That's our job, to tell others that good news, that gospel. <laughs> and, um, you know, simply put, being a disciple means being a follower of Jesus. And our first task is to bring in more followers. Tell others and bring others into the family of God. Uh, look, you're not going to automatically know everything you need to know. Uh, about how to live as a follower of Jesus. It's sort of like a learning process, okay? It's not something that you are one day and then, or, or I'm sorry, that you're not one day and then automatically do everything perfectly the next. No, it's a, it's, it really is a process. It, 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 is, it is, you know, eventually learning. You know, how many of you guys are, are, are learning like your, your multiplication tables right now? Are you learning multiplication tables, or you know, learning how to multiply in math? Uh, uh, what, 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 what are you uh, doing in math right now? Division. 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 Okay, so you're doing division in math. Good thank job. you, thank you. Good, um, good job. No, so you're doing division in math, right? Well, uh, do, you know, do you know how to... I'm in the China. I'm ready. I'm ready. In China, fourth grade, they teach about sixth grade stuff in America. Yes. Well, but let me ask you this. Do you know calculus yet? He knows. Do you know calculus? Do you know? Do you know? Calculus. I don't know. Yes. Um, the title. No, and you have to take pre-calculus in China. Yeah, in China. The point is, though. Well, hold on, guys. The, the, the point yeah, that I wanted to make, though, is you're doing really well in, but you're doing well in math. You're 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 taking pre-calculus courses, and that's awesome. Can you do pre-calculus without first knowing how to add? <laughs> exactly. You can, you got to learn the basics first. The same thing with discipleship. It's, it's the same principle as with discipleship. You're not automatically going to know it all. You're not going to know. You're not going you know, to have. You're not going to have this thing memorized. You're not going to have this thing memorized. Um, you know, front to back. 
you know, even if even if you dedicate you know all your time to it, you, you, but you can. But what you can do is dedicate yourself to at least knowing as much as you can and following what it says, and doing and doing your best to do so. Um, yeah, oh, we have a lot of other things, you know, be, uh, so, so just like learning math, learning discipleship is a learning process. It's a discipleship process. The best way to do it is as a family. Um, you know, being a disciple, uh, like a lot of other things, begins at home. Let's take a look at uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9, please. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be with you, excuse me, to be on your heart. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. That sounds an awful lot like a way of living, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It sounds, I mean, it sounds to me like, it, you know, Christianity you know, isn't like, you know, the, 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 these, these check marks that you put on the box. Yes, I've done this, this, I've done that. Yes, I follow that command. It's a way of living. It's a way of living. Um, and you know what, uh, kids? Your parents, um, you know, God gives your parents the responsibility of uh, discipling you. Let me say that again. God gives your parents the job, the responsibility of discipling you. I mean, honestly, uh, who knows you better than your folks? Um, God has uniquely equipped your parents for the for this task. And you know, look, look, you know, folks like me and Mr. Billy and your leaders out here, we're willing to help. But discipling kids is something that ought to be left that, that uh, is not something that ought to be left up to others, because it's up to parents. You know, especially. Uh, I mean, you, you can't you can't trust two guys you don't know anything right? Right. all the time. You know. Um, but but look, you know, ministers, pastors, Sunday school teachers, we're always going to be a source for guidance, advice, prayer, and such. But ultimately, we're here to help disciple parents, so parents can better disciple kids. Kids, your part in all this is to listen to your parents. And yes, obey. We, uh, you know, as you know, kids, you need to do what your folks say. You know why? Because no one loves you like your parents. No one loves you quite like your parents. You know that? Um, when you practice obedience as they guide you uh, to being a dead, better disciple, um, Ephesians 6, 1 through 4 says something a little bit uh, about this. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. You see how that's a two-way street, guys? See how that's a two-way street? Your parents, you know, can't be exasperating to you. But at the same time, you have to be willing to practice obedience when they tell you to do something. It's a two-way thing. And we, and, you know, parents, we've got to keep that in mind, too. You know, parents, grandparents, you know, uh, aunts, uncles out there, it's always going to be a two-way street. Make sure that when you ask them for, when you ask kids for their obedience, that you're not getting on their nerves. Because, <laughs> I mean, it, and, and, it's, and it's true, you, can, you, <laughs> you, you grin at that, but it's clear, we're not to exasperate them. We're, you guys obey, we won't exasperate you. Um, you know, 
So we're going to, I'm going to backtrack just a little bit to, uh, to the passage in Deuteronomy that we touched on a little earlier. Um, it says in there, you shall teach them. That is God's words. You shall teach God's words uh, diligently to your children. When you sit, when you walk, when you lie down, when you rise. That means that discipleship is not just an, is not another thing to add to your to-do list. Discipleship is a lifestyle you live while getting your to-do list done. Um, you know, you know whether you know whatever we're doing. And wherever we are, we share our faith with others, and especially the kids. You know, um, whatever you're doing, you know, parents, are you doing the dishes? Sing a praise song to pass the, so to pa uh, to pass the time. Yeah, easy for me to say. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and if you're doing the dishes, sing a praise song to pass the time. Yeah, are you taking the kids to, uh, uh, to soccer practice? You know, put KSBJ on the radio. How, how, many, how many folks out here you know, have KSBJ on the radio like constantly? Yep. Um, that's discipleship, y'all. Kids are listening. That's discipleship. You know, uh, if you're dropping your kids off by the uh, school bus stop, pray with them. You know, pray that they have a good day. Pray for them. You know, pray for them. Pray for yourselves. And pray for, pray for their teachers. Yes. You know, but, but, spend, but teach your kids to pray. Because teaching your kids to pray is discipleship. discipleship. <coughs> yeah. um, so each of these, each of these is, a, is an act of discipleship. Yep. Because each of these acts helps us to grow to know Jesus more. And one thing, kids. Um, now, um, some parents you know, may need reminders. Okay. This is what I want to impress upon you. All these things about you know parents you know hey you know you know sing a praise song or or put on KSBJ. Sometimes you know parents are going to need reminders, so make suggestions. Tell them you know hey look mom can you put on KSBJ or can you put on can can you uh, or or hey hey dad you know I, I'm having a tough time in uh, I'm having a tough time in school. Would you pray with me? You'd be That's surprised big. how far that goes. That's big. <laughs> That's big. Um, John 15, 5 through 8 says this. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. You see, we're connected to Jesus, like a vine is connected to branches. You know, when we stay connected, when we remain disciples, we produce good fruit. Okay? When we read the Bible together, pray together, worship together, we grow together um, as followers of Jesus. Um, you know, and here are a couple of ways that, that you can do this. Uh, as a family, remember, pray together, grow together, um, worship together. Do these, do these next things uh, as a family, together. Uh, first of all, find a church and go to it on a regular basis. Now look, at, at Autumn Creek, you know, worship time, just before the message, uh, is family time. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a family that prays and worships together stays together. And Autumn Creek does just that. Um, number two, if you don't have a Bible, Ask. get one. Ask. If you don't have a Bible, I've got 20 copies sitting in my office right now. Do you want one? Gladly. We'll give you one. Absolutely. You have asked you have but to ask. I'm serious, y'all. If you don't have a Bible, get one. I'll get one for you. I'll well, absolutely I have, I'll send one to I have, you. It won't I have a small one Bible, but I don't know if it's a new Bible or old Bible. It's a small one. It's like that. We're gonna get you one. We'll fix that. We'll, we're gonna we're, we're gonna fix that. We will absolutely hundred uh, hundred percent. 
Um, you know, there are all kinds of Bibles, uh, folks. There, there are storybook Bibles for the kids and parents. If you need one for yourselves, we'll get you one. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, take it. It's yours. Yeah, it's what we do. Yes. It's what we do. We want to spread God's word, and the best way to do that is to give you God's word. Um, number three, uh, nobody, uh, nothing beats memorizing scripture as a family. Uh, on Sunday nights, you know, we've got we, we've got this program right here. Awanas is about memorizing scripture. Absolutely. Um, and that that is the core of what it does, of what Awanas does. You know, if if you thought it was just for kids, mm -mm, it's for yeah. it's for the adults too. Nope. You know, um, leaders memorize the verses too. No one, and of course, no one's going to walk out of this program without knowing Second Timothy two fifteen by heart. Even if we do got to give away uh, some some, some uh, prizes uh, to get y'all to do it uh, to, to in front of everybody else, it's going to be. And uh, and folks, you know, if you memorize it and you come up front and you recite it, I'll drop my brain. There will be there will be prizes. <coughs> um, you heard it at the ground. I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. For funk. Number four, <coughs> keep your ears open. Use everyday situations to teach about Jesus' love. Um, does your does your kid come home and tell you, you know, little Johnny is being mean to me. You know, somebody's being terrible to me. Somebody's bullying me. Yep. How many of you? All right. Question for you. Raise your hand, and you do not have, and you do not have to say who it is. But you know, but <laughs> raise your hand if uh, if you have a bully. I don't see anybody out there. Nobody's got a bully? That's interesting. I guess we haven't bullied him. I guess not. Yeah. But look, uh, ever have anybody say mean things about you? Tease you? Kind of, you know, do something uh, unkind to you? I'm sure. Uh, you know, but you know what we need to do? Matthew uh, 5, uh, 44 through 45 says this. But I tell you, love your enemies... And pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your Father in heaven. Did you know, guys, that we're supposed to pray for those who say mean things about us? That's tough to do. Yeah, it is. That is majorly tough to do. Mm. I, 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 even for the, uh, you know, even for, 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 for leaders who have been in this 20, 30, 40 years. But it's what God wants us to do. If we want to practice obedience... We've got to uh, we've got to practice obedience. We have to, and we've got to pray for those who persecute you. We've got to pray for those who done you wrong. Yeah, being a disciple means being a follower of Jesus, and when we follow Jesus, we grow to be more like Him and His Father. Uh, as followers of Jesus, we can use prayer, worship, Bible reading to help us grow daily, and when we are following Jesus. We will show his love to others through our actions, through the you know, and, and we will bear the kind of fruit that the Holy Spirit uh, truly wants us to truly bear. wants us to bear the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, self-control. There it is. I'm looking for that last one. Um, now, hard one. Now these actions will help lead others to come to Jesus and accept his gift of eternal life. And isn't that what it's all about? It really is. Isn't that what it's all about? Because being a follower of Jesus is not easy. Mm -hmm. But you, when you become a true follower, an actual follower of Christ, you will start to reap benefits that you never knew. It's spiritual. Mm -hmm. and, Absolutely. You know, Mr. Pete... I have memorized the Bible front and back. Stop. I truly have. Stop. Stop. I have. I have. Stop. I have. Look. Thompson, Chain, Reference, New International Version. I memorized that. And the back. Nothing. There's nothing in the back. I've memorized the Bible front and, and back. Yes. <laughs> the Word of God has great impact. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and close in prayer. Okay. Father God, thank you for this night. Thank you for sharing the message about following you and becoming a disciple of you. Uh, Father God, I just pray that you would be with each of these kids. 
uh, and be with each of the uh, viewers at home. And Father God, thank you so much for the opportunity to spread uh, your gospel, the truth, uh, and uh, the truth of Jesus' love for his children. I pray these things in the name of uh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, last thing I want to say, we want to say, like, share, subscribe, yes. and uh, let's let, let's spread the message out, uh, you know, all over, uh, so that you know God's love can shine through in your lives as well. Good night and Be God bless. Be the testimony. Live it. You'll see the difference. Good night. Good night. <laughs>